friend functions friend functions and friend classes friend functions and friend classes in c++ so actually what is a friend function just i will discuss first friend function is a non member function and especially it is used for accessing private data members of a class so as per object oriented terminology as per object oriented uh, principles uh, no outside members will be allowed to access private data members of a class but a friend function how can it can access even though it is non member function not, uh, not a member it will be able to access private data members of a class because of that reason because of that uh, friend function c uh, c++ is violating what is uh, violating data abstraction and uh, encapsulation rule okay so there is no data secrecy in c++ because of that reason only we can uh, say that c++ is violating data hiding rule okay why it is adding the uh, why it is violating data hiding rule because uh, a friend function even a friend function is not member function it is not a member even though so it is permitting to access private data members of a class so that what happens here sensitive information may be leaked sensitive information may be violated because of that reason so in c++ we can treat that it, it is a, this feature is a loophole loophole of c++ okay but uh, according to some conditions according to some uh, uh, things a friend function must allow data members of a class so especially in data structures okay so if you if it is accessing private data members of a class means then there is no protection for the data so that what happens we can say that there is no secret so the c++ is violating sensitive violating the important rule called data hiding rule friend function and friend classes friend function and friend classes both are defined members of a class first members okay once they are defined within the class after that we we are able to access private data using friend function or friend classes so how the declaration can be done just you have a look here i will write the program class test here i will write two members two variables here private int x comma int int x comma int y in the public section what i am going to do i am going to integer x comma integer y in the public uh, section i am going to define a, a function as friend function so in order to define a friend function key, uh, the keyword called friend must uh, friend uh, keyword must be used friend void what add add is going to take test object test temp this this is only declaration this this is only declaration okay this is not uh, definition only declaration <coughs> and the remaining parts i will show in the computer just uh, have a look
So here I have defined one class called test. Within the test, I have declared two variables called x and y under private category. And here you define public also, otherwise by default it becomes private. And within this, declare one object, CLR, SCR. Before this, test T. And define print function, void add temp t see out Now we have did, so we have done uh, addition operation using friend function, friend wide add within the test class, I have declared friend function by using friend keyword. So friend, for friend uh, function add is taking the class name, the class object name as argument, means directly it cannot access, that is the only the difference between member function and friend function. Friend function will be able to access private data and whereas the friend function will not be, will not be able to access private data directly through objects only, it can access the members. So this is friend function declaration. Friend declaration. So once the friend, declared, friend function is declared, outside it must be defined clearly. Friend definition friend definition friend definition must be done over here so while uh, defining friend what i did here test t1 what is t1 here test kind of objects test class objects so while performing addition what i did here t1 dot x plus t1 dot y whereas the member function directly it will be able to access the friend function will not be able to access members uh, private data directly that is only the difference between member function and friend function. <coughs> but uh, we can say that friend function is the biggest drawback of C++ because uh, <coughs> if it is using friend function, it is violating data hiding rule. In the main function, what I did first I have created one object called t, test t. After that, add t. So just I am calling add function without any object because the friend does not require any object because it is for a friend function is a whole, whole and soul, whole component to class. That is why you need not to use any object while calling a friend function directly. A friend function can be called add t. Means what is t here? T is an object. T is an object of test class. Now t is having these two values x equal to 10 and y equal to 20. So now t is passed with these two x and y. So the value the t will be passed as t1. So using t1 the friend function is accessing x value and y value. Here t this is an object 
reference so this t1 and this so this uh, t1 this uh, two may or may not be same so next I'll explain friend class so the concept of uh, friend class is uh, same as a uh, friend function which private variables of a so the implementation of friend class will be like this first i will define a class name called a so within class name a i will declare private section within the private section i will define two members like x comma y and within public section i am going to define one constructor within this i will assign values to x and y x equal to 10 y equal to 20 within this i will declare friend class like a friend function in the last friend class b i am closing this class up to this point and class b is defined as friend class a means now a and b are friendly classes friendship okay class b so within class b i can access x and y which are belongs to private section of class a okay class b so within class b uh, in the private section i won't define anything directly i am taking public uh, public section in the public section just i will define one function called print print a the purpose of print a function is to print the private data members of class a now to print private data members of class a it will take what it will take class name class name a as a argument okay here see out just i will print this here class a private members private members within class b or how to access private members of class a because we have object of class a so what is the object of class a a so this ampersand becomes reference reference of which one reference of class a object reference of class a object through by using this small a i can access class a is x and y a dot x comma a dot y this is what print a function up to this i am closing and uh, after that i will define main method in the main method what i am going to do i am going to declare objects for two classes a small a b small b by small a by uh, capital a small a what happens here a objects will be constructed with two values x equal to 10 y equal to 20 so i will call print a function of class b print a function of class b how can i call b dot print a while calling print a function i have to pass what object name a now the value of a that the entire object will be passed to which one this one for this a and assume that this is this is a1 this is a1 here also a1 dot x and a1 dot y so the value of a that means a is passed as argument to print a function the print a function is going to print the private data members of class a using this reference a1 reference a1 dot x and a1 dot y okay here a1 becomes reference of a what is a here a is an object of class a a is an object of class a so like this the uh, the class A, class B is a friend of class A. So, being a friend, it can access private data members of class A through class A objects.
Okay, just I will show this. Watch the program. <coughs> So as we have discussed in the session, I have declared class A, I have declared class A and in the private section I have de uh, declared what x comma y as uh, instance uh, variables, object variables. I am defining one constructor called x equal to 10, y equal to 20. So uh, in the within class A, I am declaring class B as friend, B is friend of A, B class is friend of A class A. So after declaring class B as friend, I am closing class A and in the next line I am defining class B. In the private section I, am, I don't define anything. In the public section I am defining print A function. So print A function is going to take A1. So this is a reference of class A subjects. Using this A1 I am going to print private variables of X and Y. So in the coming, uh, this will come to main function. In the main function, first I am declaring objects for class A, capital A. So by this, what happens here? X is in slice to 10, Y is in slice to 20. Now you will be having 10 and 20 values. So using this print data, print A method, I am passing capital A, small a. Small, what is small a? It is an object of class A. So this A value is assigned, the A value is assigned as A1 means for A, A1 becomes reference. A1 becomes re reference. So this is ampersand symbol is uh, defining reference. Reference for class object A. So using A1, I am printing X and Y values of class A, private members. Now look at the output. 10 and 20. 10 and 20. This is about private uh, friend classes Ten and twenty. A value is A value is ten. B value is twenty. Sorry, X value is X and Y value is X value is ten. Y value is twenty. Through A one, I am accessing X value X and Y values of class A. This is about friend class. Previously, I have shown friend function. <coughs> 